Hey everybody, this is Travis with Santa Claus Optics and I wanted to do a little tutorial on how to zero the laser rangefinder on the infrared Ricoh uh, scopes with the modular laser rangefinder. They have to be zeroed when you mount them the first time. So what you do is you go into the menu, you long press the M button, go into the menu and arrow down, it's actually on the second page, but you arrow down to the rangefinder portion of the menu. And when you enter this portion of the menu, there will be a visible laser that comes on the laser rangefinder and fires down range. Now, if it's light outside um, or very bright, you're gonna have a hard time seeing this laser at long distances. So, I'm going to go over a couple of different ways you can do it. Um, one is, you know, dusk or dawn, you're, obviously you're going to be able to see the laser a little better, um, which was what I'm doing right now. It, it is daytime, but I'm using a light on the wall, um, kind of inside an overhang where it's not as bright as outside. So I'm able to see the laser. So when you go into the laser range finding portion of the menu, that laser comes on and fires down range. And what you want to do is you want to put that laser on a target and I have that laser right in the center of that light and then use your arrows, your up and down arrow, one's the zoom and one's the picture button. So you've got your X, you click on it and you can move that cursor around and then your Y is your up and down, click on the middle button and it changes to Y, click on it and it'll blink. And then that allows you to move that cursor up. And ultimately what you want is that laser dead center in that light and your cursor dead center in the light. And then long press the center button and it'll save it. And then at that point, your laser rangefinder is set. And when you long press the camera and the zoom button, it'll activate your rangefinder in your scope It'll open in single mode and then you can press the power button to take a single range and it'll tell you the range, 28 yards. Or you can press the zoom and the camera button, quick press, the same two buttons you use to open the rangefinder. You can quick press it and then it'll go into continuous mode. And there, it'll just continuously range anything you pointed at, you know, so the wall's 28, the truck's 24, it'll continuously range. Um, now I'm going to also show you another way that I've came up with that will allow you to do it. Um, and this is without using the laser. So we'll go to that next. Okay, this is going to be another method of zeroing the rangefinder. And this is without using the visible laser on, um, on the rangefinder. So what you do is press the zoom and the camera button, the outside two buttons, not counting the camera button, long press those and turn the rangefinder on. And quick press those same two buttons to put it into continuous. Now, you can use any known distant target. Um, what I'm using here is a target board at 100 yards, 101. Um, I mean, you could use the side of a building, you could use anything. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's 157 yards, 223 yards, it doesn't matter as long as it's known distance. So what you're looking for is that box is on target now. So now when I move that slowly over to the left, whenever that box leaves this target, it needs to change distance. So that box left the target it hasn't changed distance. So I keep going, I keep, okay, right there, it changed distance. So if I'm coming back to the right, that tells me that box needs to be scooted over to the right a little bit because it's still telling me that that's 100, that that's 100 yards away. So I need to move that box to the right. So I'm gonna long press the menu button, get into the range finding menu, go up to X because that's my left and right, click on X and I'm going to move that X over to the right a little bit. Let's try it right there. So long press the menu button. Okay, I moved it over a little bit. 101, now the box leaves the target. Still telling me, um, 
Let's see here. Okay, that seems to be that seems to be pretty close right there. Let's check it on the other side. As soon as it leaves the target, it's telling me a different distance. Okay, now I can check height. Come up. Height seems to be really good. So as soon as that box leaves the target, it changes distance. It, so that tells me that that's off the target. So let's check this side. Box off target, changes. Back on target, it changes. So that's just two different ways that you can um, that you can kind of fine tune this rangefinder. Now, you'll notice that that box is not in the center of the screen or the center of the reticle. You'll notice my reticle is not in the center of the screen. Your reticle ends up wherever you have to zero the scope, you know, wherever you have to zero the scope to the gun, that's where your reticle ends up. Same with the rangefinding box. Wherever you have to zero the rangefinder, that's where the box ends up. So this would be my this would be my view right here. So, you know, I have to go up and to the left to use my rangefinder box. So I just wanted to show those uh, two different methods of zeroing this rangefinder up. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. 812-686-3571. Thanks.